What's up guys, we are back here at the Zenfires. Let's talk about defenses and replays and how things are going right now in the game. So resources are a little hard to get, but it also means that it's pretty easy to save your resources from defenses. So let's take a look at the history here. Um, defenses got a huge upgrade in the last patch. So what I'd like to do now, since like you can actually win defenses, is watch the replays. We did this before, but before it was really just spam down troops and kill whatever. Uh, was there, you know, no no real strategy involved. But here, so let's take a look at this battle. Uh, he did end up getting a one star out of us, so we're going to try and figure out what happened, what went wrong. Uh, he's using just a pure air strategy, which is kind of cool. I like that free spell right there. You can see on this side of our base, we are kind of weak to air. We only have the anti-air barrel rocket right there, no other turrets or anything. But he did free spell, so it wouldn't really have mattered if we had say a turret down here that barrel rocket is doing a lot of work though and now we have the turret up there hitting uh, that's a weak level turret though definitely need to upgrade that one the barrel rocket is doing a ton of work killing dragon right there he freezes that one and now there's two dragons left and a few of these balloons and you can see it's just working away on that great hall uh, Barrel Rocket's doing a ton of work, killing that second dragon, it looks like, right there. And it is an incredibly close race between the DPS and the Barrel Rocket here. And kills the dragon, but look, they, oh, the balloons finish off the Great Hall. Very, very close to the end there. So this battle was incredibly close. He just took out the Great Hall. So with a little bit of adjustment, so if, if we were to adjust this bell rocket into the mortar position, uh, this would have been a victory for us. So that's what we're going to go and do in that, because you don't want to lose to the same kind of strategy. So I think by adjusting that mortar right here, and we adjust this in, and then put that in its place, that will definitely cover, so we will not die to a dragon balloon strategy right there on that same kind of attack. Let's go look at a different replay. So once again, another one star. You know, our face looks a little bit different than this replay here because we did adjust after this battle. So golems and caterpillars in the bottom there. So, so what I've noticed is a lot of people like to end up attacking from around this area. So beefing up the defenses in this section is generally kind of like what I've been doing lately. And a very interesting play. He dropped down a whole bunch of axemen up here. And you can see the walls are just in kind of semi-random places. Um, but that mortar just kills all the Axemen. The Axemen did literally nothing. Uh, down here, he got some good damage in. Took out the two sniper towers. The Catechillers are staying alive because there's not much mortar. He dropped a heal down there. And now he dropped dragons. And this is, once again, so like, moving this barrel rocket to where the mortar is would help out with these dragons attack because a lot of people are using dragons he does free spell right there uh this will hurt us against the mortars though so i mean the caterpillar so if, if this was a barrel rocket then there wouldn't really be anything to attack these caterpillars so it's a give and take we do have this sniper cannon which is i believe taking off one or so of those caterpillars every few seconds and overall it's like it's really good, so we'll take a look at what we did on that one. To adjust that battle after that replay, we beefed up the walls a little bit down here. You can see it's a, a lot more fortified, so it's going to be a lot harder for people to come through here. Now let's go show one more replay. And so this was actually one that we won. See, so same thing, they're attacking from this, this side, and Golem and Catechillers once again, but the Catechillers scattered quite a bit, and getting picked off by the Sniper Cannon down there in the bottom. 
And then he's also now dropping Rogues and Tempest in the bottom right, which is a very weird combination. Very, very weird combination. Get the base, but then you get shredded by the sniper towers. But if you had no free spells, free spells right here on the sniper towers would probably have been good. He dropped down a heal spell, which doesn't do anything against the. Like, Tempest are gonna die in one shot, the sniper cannons, but he froze these guys. He might have been able to clear down the sniper cannons and then clear out most of the base. So free spell is very, very important. Heal spell, not so much. But there you have it. Those are some defense things. And I'm enjoying the defense aspect of the game a lot more now. You'll notice that we actually adjusted the base a little bit to uh, improve defenses and try and get defense wins. Beforehand, I didn't even bother really with making defenses because it just didn't matter. It didn't matter how your base was built. The layout had no real bearing on anything. People could just three-star you, no problem. But now it's almost impossible to three-star someone. So we will do another video later today, and we'll talk about attacking, how I'm attacking, how you can potentially three-star people still, and what the strategies are that I'm using to attack. But these are defense replays. Check out your replays. And if you are losing a lot, you need to adjust and tweak your bases. There is a ton of bases that are still really bad. The sniper cannons make bases incredibly powerful, though. Build these things as soon as possible. Get them up as soon as possible. Uh, level 3 gives them pretty much enough power to one-shot everything. Um, you, if you can get them up to level 4, you're going to two-shot like the golems now, pretty much. So you do want to level these guys up as soon as possible. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips or strategies that you want to drop down for the base here, uh, you know, tweaks that you think might be better than what we have, let me know in the comment section. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.